We got some morning shenanigans over here. What is happening, bro? It's too early for this. Good morning, IC fam. We are back at it again with another video, and today we are filming on a Saturday instead of a Sunday, because I don't know, some of you guys might think I just make good money on Sundays. Saturday, we can also make some great money. I just picked up a 43 single. This is a repeat customer. I was waiting at a different store when this dropped on my screen, so we came here, five minute drive. I'm not gonna say exactly what I wanna hit today because sometimes things change, but we're going for some big numbers, so we're gonna grab a cart, head inside, and get this day going. Okay, so we're over halfway done with the order. One thing I was worried about the store not having was these right here. These are cookie kits. And there's a section in the front of the store that has a bunch of random Valentine's Day stuff. These were also up there. She wanted three of them, so I gave her a nice variety. We just gotta grab some soda, check out, go drop this off. Okay, so that was an easy shop. There's pretty much nobody in the store because they just opened like 25 minutes ago. So we're loading this up right now and the drive's probably gonna be about 10 minutes. There's still not that many people on the road, I'm assuming. So that's why it should be a pretty easy drive. All right, we're good to go. Let's put this back, get on our way. So I just delivered that order and for some reason I wasn't really paying attention to my phone because usually within a couple minutes of dropping off, I don't see much. But I lost this 61, wasn't even a notification. I was on the app and I was like looking to get out of that community because it's all gated and stuff. Hit my screen, gone. Completely frustrating. That was completely on me. The reason the button isn't green is because I tapped accept, it disappeared from my screen, came back for some reason, and then there it was, I like hit it, screenshot, disappeared again. I don't understand. Lately, like when I've been losing batches, that's what happens. I'll hit accept, disappears, comes back to my screen for whatever reason, but frustrating, man. That would have put me over 100 because I got that one up to 44, whatever. We're still trying to make Jimbo's drop. We're five minutes away and hopefully they can give me something close to the 61 that I just missed. That's so frustrating. It's all right, hopefully that's a good sign. Hopefully that means that the range is turned on for me today. So we're gonna head back to the coast and see if we can pick up something decent that makes me feel less bad about losing that 61. So I'll let you guys know as soon as we get our next one. After missing the 61, 15 minutes later, or not even 10 minutes, I got to Jimbo's. There's my cart from earlier. Didn't see a single Jimbo's batch. Picked up this 39, not gonna film any of it. I'm gonna run through it and try to get to Costco because they're gonna drop batches in like 40 minutes. I'm gonna have to run through this and see if I can make it to Costco drop. So wish me luck guys. as we're waiting for this slow gate to open up for me so I can leave her place. That put us at $84, it is 8.45 a.m. I'm not gonna go to Costco. I am not close to any, closest one's at least 15 minutes. They'll drop batches around 8.45 to nine, but then they don't open the store until like 9.30. So I'm not trying to go there, hope that I get something, and then have to wait for the store to open if I get something. I'm just gonna stay here on the coast. I'm in Solana Beach right now. I might hang out here, go to Del Mar, we'll see but right now it's taking care of me that was a good gelson's order and i want to keep the pace going so i don't want to sit today i don't want to wait and honestly going to costco is going to make me wait i know costco can take care of a lot of people but in my opinion it can be a deep dark hole that you can get sucked into and i just don't want to get sucked into that hole today so unless they drop me off near costco on another order later then i'll try it but right now i'm just gonna stay with what's working for me and keep running numbers up today so we picked up a 31 single. I'm shopping it at Solana Bonds. Hopefully they have everything. This guy's only ordered like four or five times. This will get us over 100. We're on pace for a good number today. We're gonna try to keep things moving. Like I said, not get stuck in a hole somewhere. We're just gonna have to keep taking stuff even if it's not a great order. Okay, so we got everything loaded up. That was a nice, easy 10 minute shop. And then there was no line at checkout, which is one of the benefits about working in the morning. One thing I wanted to mention was the fact that anytime I get a new customer, I try to overly communicate, let them know that I'm putting in the proper effort to 
get them exactly what they need. Not saying I don't treat my regulars with respect, but when it comes to the new customers or customers that don't order very often, like this guy, for example, I want them to see that there are good shoppers out there. It really is all about encouraging them to order more if they have a good experience, because when somebody is a good tipper and they don't order a lot, it's important to give them the absolute best service you can, because number one, they're in your algorithm now, and number two, you want them to consistently be somebody that can place orders and in the future give you more money. So we're about to take the exit and drop this stuff off. This will put us at a good number. We're gonna hang out in Del Mar for a little bit and see how that treats us. Okay, so a little vent session right now. I waited a decent bit of time, passed on uh, some small 20s. Then I picked up this absolute banger right here. But here's the catch. So I get to the store, I start the batch, and I'm looking through the list, not thinking anything of it, just thinking that I got a great order, right? Because this is a great order. On the order, he has a $250 bottle of bourbon. So I go to the guy at the liquor cabinet cabinet and I'm like hey I have this on my order clearly it's 250 bucks so it's not gonna be on the shelf it's gonna be locked up somewhere so the guy looks at my phone he's like oh you're doing Instacart I'm like yeah he's like uh yeah we we can't sell that bottle to you and I'm like what now this isn't the first time this has happened to me either a few weeks ago I got a one item $70 pavilions in La Jolla get to the store now this bottle was like 500 the guy is like yeah I can't sell that we don't have it blah 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 apparently Apparently there's people that purchase bottles and then they resell them. So they buy them from stores like Pavilions or Vaughn's and then they sell them. I'm not sure where they would resell them and for how much more, but I'm, I'm in there on the order and this guy's literally telling me that like he can't sell it to me. So I clearly don't understand why they won't sell it to me because this guy had other stuff on his list. I tried to explain, I was like, this guy is not trying to resell it. He lives in Rancho Santa Fe. It's an extremely wealthy area. So why would he need to resell this bottle? He's probably already a multimillionaire. So I wasn't going to refund it. Instead, I got the guy another bottle of bourbon, it's the same exact brand. It looks very similar to the bottle that you wanted. So we're gonna see, I'm not sure if this dude's gonna get pissed if he's gonna look through the bags and like try to find the bottle because I'm not bringing him the one that he wants. This guy could potentially take my whole tip away, which would turn this batch into like, I don't know what the batch pay was, like a $10 batch. And I'm literally taking time to do this. So clearly I wasn't gonna refund the item. It's a $97 batch. I'm taking a risk on hoping that he doesn't lower my tip. So I'm driving to his place right now. We're a few minutes out and hopefully it goes smooth. Hopefully the tip stays. So I'm gonna hear feedback from you guys, whether you're in California or other areas. Has this situation ever happened to you guys? That's basically what I wanna know. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna drop this off fingers crossed that this stays a 97 okay so we got that dropped off he didn't look through the bags or anything like that gonna grab something to drink here but we'll see time will tell if he's gonna leave the tip or take it away but we're gonna focus on getting our next one all right okay so right now we're loading up a 48 it's a single it was a lot of work a lot of items and not to mention the store is completely packed today it didn't take too long got everything that she needed and the plus side is the drop-off is extremely close. I'm like 99% sure she's a repeat. Just based on like the items. All right, we got everything loaded. Let's take this right down the street and get this done. Let me catch you guys up to speed. It's about 3.30 right now. Hit a absolute wall, straight hour of nothing, not even like 12, barely seeing anything, nothing runnable. So I ended up grabbing some lunch with my girlfriend. She's over in Encinitas. Finally, I picked this up right here. I believe it's a repeat again. This order puts me right under 300. I'm hoping the volume picks up. It's been slow for everybody today. I got fortunate today with some really good orders and some great repeats early in the day, but I'm hoping it picks up for everybody because it's still early in the day and there's still a lot of time to make some good money. So I just got to Carlsbad Jimbo's. I'm gonna run in here, take care of this quickly and try to get to the next one. I'm gonna do my very best to find some momentum because the sitting thing just needs to stop. So we're gonna jump in here and take care of this. Bro, what an absolute trek. I forgot how far she lived but totally worth it. That put us at 302, it's 410. I'm gonna make my way back towards Carlsbad because right now we're like in San Marcos. I need to charge the car and there's a Gelson's right next to the charging station. So hopefully I can get something there or hopefully something comes in. Doesn't matter where, just hopefully something comes in soon. Maybe on my way there. Feels like volume's picking up. I'll let you guys know as soon as we snag our next one. So we were only 
only charging for like maybe eight minutes and then this popped up right here what i tell you guys i wasn't gonna come camp at costco today but it looks like they wanted me to come over here and handle some business so it's a nice easy single puts me back over by the supercharger so clearly we're just gonna plug in right after we get this done All right, that shop took me way too long. There were several items I had to backtrack on, thought I was gonna have to refund, ended up finding them. Uh, we got an extra box for later. It was kind of busy. It's like everybody wanted to go to Costco at the same time tonight. But then again, Costco is always busy, right? It's getting kind of dark, I'm trying to keep that energy up. I'm honestly feeling the energy like start to deplete because I've been going since like, I don't know, seven this morning. And that's not even counting what time I woke up. All right, we got everything loaded up. Let's get out of here. Okay, so I didn't even have time to talk after I dropped that last one off because this popped up right here, real quick sprouts. I thought, why wait, keep on the clock, and this is gonna put me, I wanna say, right at 400. So I'm trying to get to 500 tonight at least, and in order to get to 500, you gotta get 400 first. So it's a very easy shop, gonna make this quick. They're adding items as we speak, so it should go up. Finally, we're seeing some good momentum. Hopefully it stays like this the rest of the night. So when I started the shop 10 minutes ago, he was like, hey, I am trying to add turkey sausage. I did the whole order and then I came over, sent him a picture of these and this, and I'm waiting to hear back. So I'm gonna give it like two more minutes and then I'm gonna make the executive decision. Probably just give him the box of sausage since he might not need the whole bag. We're gonna wait until he responds, but I'm not gonna wait too long because I'm trying to move. Okay, so we never got a response. I just added the box of turkey sausage. Our time is money, so we can't really be sitting around waiting for responses for 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes it's best to go with your gut. He wanted turkey sausage, added turkey sausage. Everything's in the back. We're five minutes from dropping this off. Hopefully he's cool with it. And hopefully this gets us over 400. So we picked up this banger here at Walmart. I was actually surprised it came in. I had her like two nights, three nights ago for $40, but she's ordering more this time. So last place I wanted to be at 7.30 on a Saturday is Walmart, but we're gonna make this quick. Okay, so it wasn't as bad as I thought. Still a weird order, but pretty easy. There she is. Like I said, pretty easy. Nothing like that Walmart order I did a couple months ago. The one with all the toys, that was ridiculous. And this is nice because it sends me in the direction of home. No traffic, should be a smooth drive. Get this dropped off in about 20 minutes. Picked up a 24 and change. Probably gonna be my last one for the night and uh, this should get me over five. All right, there it is, nice and easy. Right down the street, let's get this job done. Okay, so we made it back home after a very long day. It's about 9.15 right now. We did 10 batches for $504, so absolutely no complaints. I know it's been slow lately, and it's been kind of a struggle to make good money, not just for me, but for a lot of my friends as well. Hopefully you guys are pushing through it and still hitting your numbers. As always, I am extremely grateful for each and every one of you viewing my videos, supporting, commenting, because it's people like you that make me want to keep pushing content out and making it better every single time so as always i'm going to draw my numbers at the end of the video of today giving the breakdown and what time i took orders etc thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one